potatoes and onions. Look what we have. Yeah, it's gonna be good. So we got potatoes, onions, and sausage. What's up guys? Welcome back to our campsite. We're here in Florence, Oregon. Uh, the last video that we posted, it's a sad video. I rolled my Can-Am and I didn't just like tip it over or just like kind of half roll it. We went end over end, full front flip, landed back on the wheels and uh, messed it up pretty bad, unfortunately. And it was only like 10 minutes into our safety run. I uh, goosed it a little bit off of a lip and we rolled. And the worst part about it, we didn't even get it on camera. But uh, you guys can see the damage to the Can-Am in the last video. Check it out. And uh, make sure you hit the thumbs up button because it'll make me feel better. So now we're going to get a little breakfast. Um, the, the trip is not entirely ruined because there's stuff, other stuff you can do. I brought my dirt bike and there's some quads here that Desiree might end up riding today. I'm hoping that's what happens. Des will get to hit a quad up and we'll take the dirt bike out. The sand is super thick so it might be kind of difficult to... Uh, to ride the dirt bike. Are you distracting the crap out of me? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. What are you doing? I just came over here. I'm trying to vlog here, bro. I just came over here. This is our this is our convoy here. We got the kiddos playing on bikes. And we are in the Toyota Tacoma. We have the Free Spirit Rec tent up top. Sterling sleeps in the annex below and then the baby sleeps in the back seat of the truck. The dogs sleep in the canopy. It's working pretty well so far. Uh, the baby's getting good sleep and everybody's uh, everybody's happy. Sterling keeps waking up at like 6.30 in the morning. He says, the sun's up, I'm awake. Morning, Tyler. Good morning. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you feeling after drinking a massive Yeti cup of whiskey last uh, night? You know, I, I've been better, but I'm gonna take that some was, Tylenol and drink some water and... That was a metric butt ton of it was, whiskey. It was a lot. It was a bit of an overpour. <laughs> I was trying to deliver you coffee cinematically. Not time. <laughs> you look tired. No time. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> you two got, kids and I'm camping. You got bags under your eyes. I'll show you bags. Oh, you poor thing. I went to bed early last night too. You're still beautiful. I went to bed before everyone else. You did. I went to bed when the kids were asleep. Yeah, you did. I knew the tires of my trailer were pretty bad, but uh... These guys pointed it out to me, and like, I don't know if they just like got really, really bad <laughs> right on the way up or what, but Tyler and I are gonna be replaced. This. this one, a lot of dry rot, it's a little bald. <laughs> Ooh, so smooth. God damn. We drove into town to uh, get some work done, and while we're in town, we're gonna stop and look at some other UTVs because ours is broken. <laughs> it's gonna be like a, it's like a slow torture. Oh. Look at that nice windshield. It's all blacked out, so it's it's the same one as mine, but no gold. I like that look a lot. Particle separator, what's this? Yeah. I wonder how many hours are on this, because this is this is what I paid for mine. Oh, that's a lot more than mine. Mine's yeah. got 50 hours. But look at these doors. Look at this roof. That's so nice. Light bars. Oh, this thing is sick. Can I just trade in my totaled one and get this? Oh, check that out. That's a cool idea. There's pins. I'll have to get this. Look at this. These are all pins. So you just toot, 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 and you can take it off real quick and change a belt. I had no idea that even existed. So this is what my can amps supposed to look like. Oh God. The YXZ, like look at that exhaust. It actually looks like a motorcycle engine. So little suspension. But yeah, it's got paddle shifters. That would be so much fun. I wish I liked the look of them. All right, now we are at Honda, taking a look at the Honda Talon. This is the first I've seen one in person. Pretty cool looking little things. They look high up off the ground. I really like this uh, bolt-on cage option. I wonder if we could do that with the Baja Kits one. I'm just kind of disappointed with Can-Am's frame, but then like, when you look at some of these other things, like look how thin all this shit is. They're using, they must be using thicker tubing. Although, look, there's a hole there. Can you see? You can't really tell. Yeah, that's not very thick. 
Huh. That's not very thick at all. But and it's much smaller. But it's still probably probably maybe just a tougher metal. I don't know. It just seemed like the clean bit. Well we did roll it. <laughs> I mean let's I'm really curious to see what Kawasaki's coming out with. They're gonna have a uh, a competitor with the Honda Talon coming out pretty soon, probably next year or the end of this year. This one's got paddle shifters too, so it must have that direct drive. Direct drive is the big selling point of these things. All right. Uh, we're gonna try to teach Desiree how to drive a quad. She's never ridden one before. What, do you, what are your thoughts? In an attempt to uh, save the trip, we're teaching Desiree how to ride a quad. We had planned on her just riding passenger in the Can-Am and possibly driving and just doing that kind of stuff. But you know, I I, I flipped I flipped the Can-Am. So um, Tyler is an excellent teacher. I'm going to be on the Husqvarna, which is probably going to do uh, pretty shitty in the sand. So, but I bought I brought it just to, just to, for fun. Um, oh shit! I got to put gas in it. Damn it. What? Oh, ah. My knee just fucking went out. Oh. Freaking wonky ass knee. Ooh. Ouch, 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 ouch. Let's pause this. My knee. So weird. It just randomly, like, shifts. Just one of those terrible trips. But it's still fun. Like, I just love, like, getting out and doing stuff and uh, being active. So. You can't be mad at that because you could be just sitting in an office somewhere. And so this is definitely preferable to that. You guys like my flag mount, by the way? It's just inside the saddlebag. That's how you know it's legit. I like this bike a lot. All right, let's not break anything or get injured. I swear I'm gonna change the channel name to Max Breaks Everything. It's probably the most appropriate name for the channel. Recording. All right, Des, let's do it. Oh, looking so good. Ah, oh, so proud. Oh, so jiggly. All right, so this is literally her first time on a quad. She's ridden a dirt bike and uh, she wrecked it. So she's never actually ridden anything. Doing good. Have you tried the gas? There you go. When we get to the sand, you'll need the gas. Or it'll die. When I get to the sand, I'm gonna need fucking sand paddles. These are like road tires. The little uh, ranger guy there. And my flag is not legit. <laughs> oh man. These tires are horrible in the sand. Oh my god. It's like we're both learning. This is gonna take. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I feel like I'm in snow. I can't go slow enough to be. Oh my gosh. Doing good, Des. This 
bike's gonna put in some work today. Come on, all terrains. I gotta go way faster. I just have to like sit way back. All right, this shit though, this is where I can actually play. Oh, thank God. Cause it's wet and it's packed down real hard. Okay, so much better. I was getting worried there. Thought I couldn't play at all. Woo! Woo! He's going in circles! This is terrible. What's that? The bike. Oh, I, I thought it was not <laughs> I'm like swimming, it's crazy. That'll beat you up bad. It's kind of fun in a way. Yeah. And I know that if I go down, it's just super plus sand, but. Yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. Hey, Des, you want me to put that in my backpack? Okay. Perfect. Now goose it! I'm so proud of her. Look at her go. It's just like a little, little caterpillar coming right out of her cocoon into a beautiful butterfly. And I mean a beautiful butterfly, let me tell you what. Damn it, bike, don't leave me stranded here. Oh, beautiful, sexy butterfly. I still can't really wheelie on this shit, but it feels so good to get out. This is exactly why I crashed the Can-Am. Uh, on dirt bikes, I just always expect to have to give it a ton of gas in order to uh, Woo! In order to get any lift off. These are sweet. In order to get any lift off of a, of a dune, because right at the top, you uh, you lose all this traction. Can-Am didn't do that, nope. The Can-Am, it, uh, it has some nice tires on it, I guess, because freaking it gripped up and launched off this shit. And I didn't even get it on camera, which is... <laughs> gonna haunt me forever. <laughs> it's too soft. I can see why quads. This is more of a quad place. Oh, hey, they're on dirt bikes. I'm not alone. He's got a paddle tire though. So glad it rained a little bit. That gives me an opportunity to actually get out here. If this was dry, I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm overreacting. It's not too bad. Ah! Oh God, it's so bad. But props to a Michelin though. I mean like, all things considered, I am not using these tires correctly. definitely weren't designed for this and they're doing they're getting the job done oh god look at Desiree what a fine specimen oh, oh shit <laughs> oh god you sexy little kitten It's uh, downright disturbing. God, I just want to hug these freaking. I just want to jump! This is what gets me in trouble. I just want to jump it! That was sweet. We are going to go to the spot that the Can Am crashed the rollover and I, I doubt it looks gonna look the same but we'll, we'll go check it out <laughs> oh, stuffed it right in 
<laughs> oh, fool. For the love of face plants. just put Sterling down to bed. He sleeps in this lower portion of the Free Spirit Rec tent and we sleep up there. It's about 7.44, which is about his bedtime. Hopefully he stays in bed. I'll show you guys our camp setup. It's pretty messy right now, but um, we have a like a canopy thing here, which is great because it's been trickling a little bit of rain off and on. This is our setup. So we have the Tacoma with the rooftop tent. We actually took the Tacoma out in the last video and it did really awesome in the sand. It was awesome. It's a little bit of work to put everything away, but it was totally worth it because it sort of saved our trip. Um, we have the Camp Chef stove here. We have our canopy for the rain. The dogs stay in the bed of the truck. It's great. We got the Snowmaster fridge, water, uh, food is in there. It's it's been a nice little setup. I am getting a little bit envious of the uh, the toy hauler though. I can see the appeal. Like if you're strictly like not talking about camping, but strictly going somewhere to ride. You just want to ride and you just want to be comfortable and you still want to get some work done. The toy hauler would be so, so, so nice. In case you guys missed uh, yesterday's video, I'll take you over to the Can-Am and show you the damage. It doesn't look that bad like on the surface. Considering what we did, it doesn't look that terrible. But there's one spot on there that would basically make this Can-Am totaled. It's pretty much considered totaled. I think we can fix it. There's no like quick and easy replacement part for this one part. Everything else would just be superficial. You could you could order the parts online. We could have it fixed in a weekend, except for this one part. See that frame? That little kink. Right there is a couple thousand dollar kink. Seriously, that's the only part. There's some obvious signs of stress here. You see the paint chipped. 
even down in here, you can see a little bit of paint chipped. And then all the way around the car, Can-Am, the UTV, whatever you guys want to call it, you can see some, even up in there, some stress. But for the most part, everything is fine. Um, it's just all the plastics are torn apart here. This trunk is destroyed. The trunk here alone is 500 bucks. Um, the taillights still work, surprisingly. This guy didn't get broken initially, but then it got melted by the exhaust. The exhaust, I think, is still intact. I don't think I have to replace it if I don't need to. I think it's just been... Um, you can see the hangers there have been crushed. So there was just a large blow to this back end that really just slammed all this stuff. I'm hoping the turbo's okay. The turbo's tucked in there and I think it's gonna be fine. Um, motor mounts look okay. I saw a CV boot popped off and so the bearings are full of sand and so that's gonna need to be fixed. This got some kinks here so it just must have really, but um, I mean, even these pieces of plastic don't have to be replaced. You can see these tabs ripped off, but that stuff could be, I mean, you could drill new holes for it and mount it, or you could do big washers and it'd be okay. There's gonna be some cosmetic damage, but if I'm literally just going for budget, then I could fix this. Uh, for not that bad, aside from this huge kink. Now, I totally understand and I can, I can tell where you guys are coming from. I've seen people crash these things and it's like, man, if, if you got enough money to afford one of these, then you can't really bitch about wrecking it because you're gonna have plenty of money to replace it. And that's not necessarily true. Um, I, I work as a firefighter, which is great, it's awesome. Um, anything truck, travel, or toy related, the three T's, any of the three T's, that money comes directly from YouTube, from people watching YouTube and Google paying me. I don't put any of the income I make from work into this stuff. And so I do have a relatively small budget because it's gonna be only that monthly income that I make from views. So unless YouTube's popping off, uh, it's gonna be a while until that thing's fixed. So I'll show you guys around camp. Everyone here has been super awesome. We even have a couple people that watch the channel, which is so cool. Um, there's Tyler's truck. They got the four by four quads. My bike, which I rode today, and it did awesome. There's everybody chilling over there. And there's a kid there that's obsessed with YouTube. Completely obsessed. Uh, we got Tyler's toy hauler, and of course the truck. There he is, that's the one that's obsessed with YouTube. What's so. <laughs> up? Oh, well, mine, I just brought it for you. Oh. You, you, sorry dogs.